is going on? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is goddamn Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. And I'm talking fast because you guys... Oh my goodness, we about to get right into the tea. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video at any time. If there's anyone who would like to send support or would like to book a reading with me, I only do video readings um, on Instagram or on Google hangouts so if you would like to book a reading with me check out the about tab on my youtube page or check out the description in this video it gives you my pricing list and also how to reach out to me if you do not have instagram so you can send me a message on instagram messenger so we can do the video reading there you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com i can help get you all set up on google hangouts it's a free easy app to download only thing we need to exchange is our email <coughs> for us to communicate so again my email is scorpionrest at gmail.com let me take a sip of water y'all i'm just talking so fast because i'm my mind and my mind is going a mile a minute because i'm trying to forget the channeling that i had when i was doing the pre-shuffle so hold on let me get through the intro and the prayer y'all hold on y'all hold on <laughs> god telling on y'all today girl god is telling okay so listen okay so we don't got through the booking. Um, Y'all know before we get into anything, we got to thank Father God, the creator, number one, for just bringing us here, just for shining glory through our life. Because like I said, you can't judge my glory because they don't know our story. They do not know our story. They don't know what we've been through. And Father God been seeing this through the whole way. So we're going to give praises to the creator before we do anything. Father God, I thank you so much for being the visionary mastermind that you are, Father God. Everything is planned, pre-purposed, and predestined before we even wake up in the morning, Father God. I thank you so much for encouraging us to redefine our skills and to make sure that we are staying in the correct alignment and on our path father god you know sometimes we may trip or fall or we might stop and take a look around at the scenery but sometimes you know you be having a nudge just a little bit to keep it moving father god so father thank you so much for keeping us moving father god we are trucking okay because we got stuff to do father god listen 2020 ain't through and this is 2020 show me the money energy father god we want it all we gonna show them how to ball <laughs> if one thing scorpio can do is show them how to ball and show them how to transform we have some talented people some of the most talented entertainers in this world are scorpios honey take notice so listen father god we ain't come to play today we came to slay today father god come on and tell us what me tell me something good down down ow. Boom, boom, boom. tell me that you love me yeah come on father god tell me something good okay so listen father god <laughs> Tell us some good, Father God. Give us guidance for Scorpio for October 2020. Show me the money, energy, Father God. We thank you so much for all the blessings in the past, present, and future. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's get into this, y'all. Let me calm down. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, because I'm all choked up, honey. Let me calm on down, y'all. Let me take a sip. Hold on. Mm -mm. Let me take a sip. So listen. Let me take a sip. Mm -mm. My adrenaline is racing, y'all. I don't know about listen. So, when I was doing the pre shuffling, and let me go ahead and start and, and get the cards out on the table while I'm about to go ahead and sing y'all this song that, that popped in my head during the pre shuffle. And I'm like, it's a boys to men song, right? And um, I haven't heard this song since I was a child. I think this song came out when I was like in elementary school or something like that. And I'm just like, wow, where did that come from, y'all? Do y'all remember this song? Hold on, y'all. Please don't, please don't let my voice sound fucked up today, y'all. I swear. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. <coughs> me, me, me. <coughs> me, me, me. <coughs> me. Hold on, bitch. Okay, ready? Remember this, y'all? Please don't go away from me. When you call my name, I'll reach out my hand to you, to my heart. Please don't go away from me. We can work it out, whatever it may be, girl. <laughs> Please don't go. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, uh, okay, hold on, 
God said, bitch, hold on. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do not like green eggs. Like, we ain't like that. <laughs> we ain't like that, no. But do y'all remember that song? Please don't go away from me. We can work it out. Whatever it may be, girl. Please don't go. Please don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. Don't know. Y'all remember that song? Oh my goodness. Hold on, he was like, my feelings are so need for you. And I wanna oh, oh, no. Hey yo, that joke go. And I'm I mind you, I haven't heard that song since i was a kid like i was a kid 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 like probably like in like the sixth grade or something when that came out because i want to say i remember i was in elementary school so i'm like why did this song just pop up in my head y'all so i had to go back and i had to pull this song up because i'm like let me listen to the lyrics because it has to be some meaning to this song and basically what he was basically saying is like telling the girl to please don't go like whatever it is like I, we need to work it out and i think he was saying um he was like thinking about you each day oh my god and he was saying something about temptation your love makes my head spin round and round and again no baby he was saying so I can't remember the exact part where he's saying something about temptation gosh y'all oh my gracious but it's like it sounds like this man lost someone and I don't know if he was like being tempted and I don't know if the girl left him and he just fucked up because like he really missed this girl you know what i'm saying and he's just like please don't go away from me <laughs> please we can work this out like whatever you want like don't go like don't go so y'all oh my goodness and i wrote that down as the title because for it to have hit me like that y'all i swear i don't want to get my video demonetized but i want to play this song for y'all so bad because i miss back in the day when we used to be on youtube and i could actually play my music and not like it like no copyrights and just like dumb shit y'all gosh that is irritating why okay i did the same thing in libra's reading y'all why am i trying to give y'all a half ass spread i'm so sorry y'all mm -mm, please don't go away from me i cannot stop singing that shit down will you call my name I'll reach out my hand to you. I don't know who this is feeling like this about us, Scorpio, but God telling on whoever this is. Who is this, y'all? We gonna find out, y'all. Please don't go away from me. We can work it out. Y'all, I swear. Oh, I wanna play this song so bad. Y'all, I wanna play this song. Okay, while well, I am, y'all do me a favor, okay? Do me a favor. Since I cannot play it for you, you play it for me. While I am getting the deck out, I want you guys to go look up Boys to Men. Okay? Boys to Men. Please don't go away from me. Go listen to that song. Put this on pause. Or if you got another device where you can play it in the background while I'm trying to get the, the cards out, y'all go ahead and do that for me. Y'all, go ahead and do that for me, please. Because I feel like we got to hear those lyrics. Because it, it has to be applicable to this reading. Because God wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> that was not on no random. <clears throat> and it was like, the main thing it was like, to me, was like, that person like needs to learn how to control him being like, that person needs to learn how to control being tempted. Like, being in a lustful state of existence and just always giving into um, 
everything that's being offered to them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is someone that is just used to having their way or used to making mistakes and used to people sticking around and not making them face their consequences. You can't do that with a Scorpio because a Scorpio will leave your ass. A Scorpio, a Scorpio will transform their self like because... A, I mean, a Scorpio is just it's not going to allow you to continue to sit there and inflict pain on them because they they will hurt their self trying to hurt you. You see what I'm saying? And it's like an evolved Scorpio is not going to allow you to trigger their shadow like that. You know what I'm saying? They will leave. You know what I'm saying? Even if it hurts them. And again, that's them hurting their self to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Like... Really, it's going to hurt you if I leave, but it's going to hurt me more because I don't want to leave you because I love you. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to keep playing with me. You see what I'm saying? Because if it's not an evolved Scorpio, if you push a Scorpio too far, um, mm, mm, okay, I'm just not even going to say nothing. But yeah, I don't think you want to do that, girl. That's what the show Snap was built around. Girl, you do not want to do that. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. No, ma'am. Yes, so. Ooh, and Libra. Ooh, yes, because Libra did. I did get a, a song channeling for Libra. I got um um TLC uh fake people. Ooh. And you got the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts said, off with their heads. <laughs> Listen, didn't I tell y'all y'all got somebody the fuck out of here? Off with their head, okay? Off with their head. Did you hear me, bitch? Off with their fucking head. Like, one thing about the Queen of Hearts, like, you, you better lay low. Okay, in the, in the, <laughs> in the, in the words of Whitney, <laughs> the Divine Dawn. Houston, okay? You better lay low. Like, don't play with people's hearts, y'all. Do not play with people's hearts. Just don't do it. Have you ever heard of a crime of passion? Exactly. That's why I said snapped was created behind fucking around with a Scorpio. Listen, if you're not going to do right by us, just leave us the fuck alone, okay? And pray to God that you have an evolved Scorpio because if you don't, you Better lay low. She about to call her folks to come fuck you up. Off with their heads. Bitch. She about to call her folks to come get you. Okay, because you done fucked around and pissed her off. So let's get into the Scorpio. Because we ain't even get into the center. Entergy. Hold on. Let's get ourselves sanctered. Hold on. Hold on. All right. That feel good. Let's do this. Boom. Let's get into her. So let's see what we got here. It says, oh, uh, and we got, <laughs> we got the number 13 for the death, honey. <laughs> you know, the number 13 represents the death card, <laughs> which is the Scorpio. <laughs> In tarot, it says difficult situations lead, <laughs> <clears throat> lead to divine solutions. I don't know what got me all choked up, y'all, but difficult situations lead to divine solutions and i'm gonna tell you why because I, 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 a scorpio i don't know why we operate at our best when our back is against the wall it's like you want to play rough you want to play rough you, you you think you're a tough guy you want to play rough you know what i'm saying like it's something it's about that tony montana come out of scorpio you know what i'm saying you want to play rough Say hello to my little friend. You want to say? <laughs> Scorpio is something about Scorpio. Like, we're so loving. We're so sweet. We're so nurturing. We're so kind and giving. But it's like, we can be dist... Can we, can we keep it 100 for just a tad bit? Scorpios are self-sacrificial. Like... We will fall in love with somebody and forget all about what the fuck we are doing. You know what I'm saying? And trying to cater to this romance, to this love, to how our heart is feeling. That sometimes we can get distracted and not be focused on taking care of the other duties of our court or something. You know what I'm saying? And then when things don't work out, it's like, okay, death 
cut that motherfucker out and it's like you get focused back to business like you never did before it's like you might work harder you might work stronger you might work with more passion it's like because you're angry because something else upset you so now it's like you're putting all your passion and all of that loyalty that you had into the love situation into everything else that you were doing before because that's what you should have been doing and it's like you know what i'm saying <laughs> like that is just the obsessed insane mind and heart of a fucking scorpio and if i'm lying go ahead and put it down in the goddamn comment section but i guarantee you y'all not gonna lie and y'all not gonna lie and say that i'm not lying i'm serious y'all i'm serious sometimes like we operate the best under pressure it's like when someone tells a scorpio that you can't do something that you can't have something or that you won't ever be this or you're not better than me bitch that's when we ready to take everybody else. It's like, bitch, say hello to my little friend. We gonna murder every last one of your pussy blood sucker motherfuckers. You hear me? You hear me? We gonna kill every last one of your pussy bomb clad. Okay? Are you reloaded? We are rolling up. We are loading up the gap. We are airing everything out. So it's just like... I don't know if a difficult situation and you was just like, I'm airing everything out. I'm clearing out the whole shit. I'm making way. I want everything dead. I want the pussy for dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> she like, I want the pussy hole for dead. Me want them for dead. You know what I'm saying? Me want them dead. I don't know. It's like, you just, it's just something... I feel like you had to come to a conclusion in your heart in regards to something because it's like forget looking for solutions or for people trying to tell us when why how you did this and blah 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 it's like I don't care it's like I just feel like Scorpio decided let me cut it out let me end it let me clear it clear you know what I'm saying like she had to Scorpios have to have the death in order to regenerate the heart because I forget which one of my tarot decks it is Let me see. I want to say that it is the urban tarot deck If you guys do not have this deck in the urban tarot deck the death card in this deck is literally someone on Like a, a, on an operating table and they're taking those little what is those those uh things where they rub it gets clear that's literally what they're doing, like trying to revive the heart. It's either that or they're doing a heart transplant on that card. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had to clear something out in order for you to have a better solution in the situation. It's just like I had to kill them off. I, they had to be dead to me. It's like I can't move forward. With any existence of a past existence. I don't want to remember anything. I don't I don't know you. It's, it's like almost like I don't know you. Like you're dead to me. You know what I'm saying? So what is this? This is the seven of swords. So again, this is treason. This is treason. You could have felt like someone was trying to steal. Like to me like this person is trying to steal and get away with something. But they got caught off with their head like catch him before he leaves the premises he will not leave the premises unscathed his head will be on a spike you will be a lesson to anyone else who tries to trespass and steal from the queen do you understand what i'm saying it's like there will be no remorse there will be no less slaughter than there was for the last one it's like all of you must die anyone that betrays the queen must die it's like i don't know why am I talking like this? But it's like, I'm going to deal with you like I did the rest. I'm going to deal with you like I did the rest. You will not. Okay, this is this. Okay, this is what she's saying. She said one less person victimized. So this is the heart of the queen. The queen cares about everybody in her court. If you have the audacity to come to the queen falsehood treason fallacies and lies and you would betray the queen you would try to manipulate the queen you would take my kindness for weakness you would try to steal from me 
This is robbery of my time and of my kindness. And you think I would let you run around my court? There are many beautiful women that live here that I have the responsibility of taking care of. And you think I'm going to allow you to run around in my court? If you think that you could rob, pillage, and rape up under my nose, you got me fucked up. Lock his ass up. I swear, I don't even think she want him locked up. She want his head on a spike. You will not survive another night. You gotta go. Period. Friend, family, or foe, treat a hoe like a hoe. This queen, she's a nice, she's a very generous queen, but she do not take no bullshit. She said, friend, family, or foe, treat a hoe like a hoe. There's people in her bloodline that she has been less remorseful to. And bitch, I don't even know you like that. You understand? So, you, you, you better lay low. I don't know. She is not allowing. It's like this person and every person. It's like this queen, I feel like she, I don't feel like she frets at difficulties and um, when people try. Because listen, the sun will always illuminate. It's like the, God will show me everything that I need to know. Look, as soon as this person was sneaking away, I don't know, like it's a spotlight or alarm system or something went off to alert because in the upright, this person is sneaking away. It's trying to sneak away from something where they're not being caught. They think that they've outsmarted you. They manipulate you. They've managed to disguise their self. You know what I'm saying? So this could be someone that could have came to you in a disguise or something and it's like the spotlight shined on them where like the mask came off and you were able to see them before they actually got away with anything like you know it's like you seen them and I want to say like see look I told you it was like an alarm system you see it's an alarm system it was a, I swear I, I, I feel like okay this is what I'm getting the queen allowed you to see her take her defenses off take her alarm system off but she had the queen of hearts she's is she spiritual this girl is psychic like you know what i'm saying she has a spiritual alarm system baby like you thought what you thought she had brinks adt no bitch look her spirit guides alerted her about you i don't know if you could have had some birds fly like every time this person was around you it's like birds cats uh, crows, vultures, just like dead rats <laughs> laying around. I don't know. Just like it was something on a spiritual level that I felt like hit you to this person and then illuminated that person and set your antennas off, honey. And you allowed this person to set they self up because it was taught who came to you with the bullshit that was trying to set the shit up. You understand? It was Todd who had came to you with the bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So listen. You better lay low. I secretly want to see what is being said. What is the outcome for this person? I mean, we also know this person is... It looks like she's saying off with, with, with his head. What's the feelings behind this queen? How is this queen feeling at this moment? This queen of hearts. She done caught someone. There's a trespasser, treason. Give me two cards. Oh, no. That's too many. That's too many. That's way too many. That's way too many. That's way too plenty. Give me two cards, please. <clears throat> Clarify the queen. What does the queen of hearts have to say? Clarify the queen. The five of hearts. It says, Old oh, Tiger Lily. I wish you could talk. So the five of hearts is representative of the divine feminine energy. So it's like you could have come to this person who is very quite different than you. This person could be like your complete polar opposite. You're a human. You're talking to a fucking flower and wishing that it could communicate with you. So I don't know if like this was like wishes or something it's like you um because this is kind of giving me the five of cups as well because it's like the five of cups is like 
emotional lack. Like, this is someone not giving to you. Like, you're feeling sad. You're feeling remorse. You're grieving a situation because someone isn't talking to you. Like, you could have been in a situation where you guys could have actually been with each other. But, like, this person barely talked to you. Like, y'all could have been just sitting around each other and, like... Whenever you try to speak to them, they act like you were annoying them or you're speaking a different language. It's like, I wish you would just talk to me. I wish you would pay attention to me. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like emotionally yearning for something that would never be there. You know what I'm saying? Like I would never have a con connection with a flower. You know what I'm saying? So it's like wishing for something that could never be almost. Wanting somebody to be something that they're not. They're not human, so he's not going to talk to you with language that you will understand. Like, so don't put your heart in that. You're going to get hurt. You're not going to get the results that you're looking for. So I don't know if you were just like very, very, um, and you're so beautiful. And it's like the five of, the, the five of hearts is like a very beautiful girl, very loving, very giving, very nurturing. I mean, literally. The Divine Feminine, beautiful clothes, like you could have beautified yourself, like you could have worn flowers on your clothes to attract this flower, to make yourself seem more flower-like. You could have put perfume on and make you smell like a flower or make this person believe you were a flower like them, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, we're so much alike, but we're not alike, you know what I'm saying? Like. You can, like everything about you could have been like the human essence of a flower, but you know what I'm saying? Opposites attracted. You know what I'm saying? So like So this is the ten of clubs. This ooh. I do not like how the Cheshire cat is up there looking at her. He look like he would eat her or something. Like he he just look like he ain't got no the Chesh you know the Cheshire cat, Cheshire cat, however you say it. He just is like the devil to me in Alice in Wonderland. Don't you think he always is just like up to no good? The Ten of Clubs is like when someone has reached a point of success in their career and business. Like they've really worked hard to achieve a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever it was, it didn't come easy. It didn't come easy at all. Like once you get to the Ten of Clubs, the next phase is the Ace of Diamonds. That's you actually reaping tangible physical uh rewards for, uh like for your hard work like this is work diamonds is the reward of your work so this is someone that is seeing you complete a phase in your life complete a cycle like a lot of abundance a lot of uh wealth <clears throat> prosperity probably fame diamonds can be fame too you know what i'm saying it's coming to you and, like, the Cheshire Cat to me is someone that is sneaky, that is underhanded. Like, the Seven of Swords that's trying to manipulate you and wants to come along with you. Like, they didn't help you or they damn sure weren't with you through the Five of Pentacles where you ain't have no job and you were going through all of these change. The Three of Pentacles or the, or the Three of Clubs where you had to go through work and you had to go through education and you had to, you know, study and you know what I'm saying? The eight of pentacles, you going to work every day, busting your ass, not taking no time off, like grinding, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like the, the seven of goddamn clubs where it's like you could have been in a tight predicament and it's like you're actually having to overwork yourself damn near, working yourself to the bone just to make ends meet or just to like bust even, you know what I'm saying? Like... This person wasn't around you. It said, I wish you wouldn't keep appearing and vanishing. You make one quite giddy. Again, I wish you would not keep appearing and vanishing. You make one quite giddy. So the queen did not trust the Cheshire cat, the Cheshire cat. Because, number one, do this motherfucker look like someone that you should be trusting? You're back and forth. You're in and out. When you're here, you're here and you act like you don't want to go nowhere. But when you finally leave, you act like you gone and you ain't never going to come back. What the fuck is up with that shit? It's like this person could, could have only been around when you got your paycheck. 
when shit is good or when they didn't have any food or you know what I'm saying when they know you getting off of work and you may be bringing some snacks home because they had a convention today or some something like that it's like someone could have just been using you someone could have just been using you oh Tiger Lily I wish you could talk I wish you wouldn't keep appearing and vanishing. You making me quite giddy. It's like this could even be someone like sneaking up on you, popping up places that you didn't expect them to be at or something. So check this out, y'all. Check this out because I'm about to keep that shit 100 with you. Watch yourself because I feel like because tens represents endings. So... And then if you look at this, don't she look a little frightened a little bit like the flowers are trying to talk to her or something like that? Because she looked like the flowers is trying to talk to her or something like that. Like she's just enjoying her day. She looking pretty. It's like you already cut someone out because you feel like they were lying. They were sneaky. They were manipulative. They were stealing. They like this person could be spied. I mean, this is the spy card. Like this person could have been try and gaslight you you know what i'm saying like on everything or you you might have already been gaslighted and now that you've cut this person out off with their heads i'm focusing on new love i have to focus on my core i have to focus on me you walking about minding your business being a divine feminine you are the human version of a tiger lily because you smell like flowers you dress very beautiful like you are essence of the of beauty of the empress of a goddess and everything like that and here's this thing that is a complete polar opposite of you trying to act like you or trying to approach you like suddenly i feel like this person could be sad because remember what was the song i was singing um God, I was singing some boys to men. Um, Please don't go, no. And it's like the five of hearts represents someone that they realize might have been the most beautiful woman in the world. Like, you might not have been like me, but we're so much the same. It's like, we how could we be anything different? I don't know. I feel like this is someone that could have rejected you because y'all were polar opposites. Y'all wasn't the same. Maybe you were trying to get this person to talk to you. They weren't trying to open up. You rejected them off with their heads. You know what I'm saying? And then now that you've moved on, continuing to be as successful and things like that, this person keeps trying to pop up in your life, being sneaky and stuff. And you've already seen this person for what they are. Number five, you've already had conflict with this person. Number five represents change, conflict, freedom, being quick with it, adapting to something. It represents travel. Off with their heads. I'm moving on. So it's like stop trying to pop up on me or something like that. I, I, I feel like it's someone popping up on you after you've already made a determination that this person is treacherous. You don't trust them. You've already I feel like this person already rejected you. Me and you are not the same. Like, you know, like when I wanted to talk to you, you didn't want to talk to me. You, you said we were different. You know what I'm saying? Like. I caught you sneaking around. I caught you doing this. I caught you lying. I, I, I realized you were only with me because you were trying to steal from me. You were trying to gain up on me. You were trying to do, you know what I'm saying? It was like these people were not, this person was not with you for the right reasons. And it's like now the success is coming to you. Now they want to keep popping up in your life. But please don't go away from me. You know what I'm saying? We can work it out, whatever it may be. She's like, get the fuck out of here, man. What, let me see what's going on under here. The fairy, the fairy of the green world, the natural world needs you. So again, and you see how she has the like crystal ball. You are like a very earth bound and creature, Scorpio. It's like you understand the mysteries of the universe. Like you love nature, like you love cooking, you love children. You are the nurturing earth mother. Other than like the queen of pentacles like 
you are like the earth mother you know what i'm saying you are the essence of love the essence of life itself you know um i feel like you guys need to pay more attention to the seasons to your garden it's time to go out there and plant something and watch it grow give love to the earth like that's what it's saying it's like i feel like that's why this person walked up on you in a orchard in a garden look it's like this person keeps like popping up on you at the park like i don't know if they know that you like to be out of nature you like to go to the park i don't know if the season's about to change look the number five change tens endings change like the season that you love is about to change you're like trying to get the most out of nature before it starts getting cold or something and like this person knows you're going to be at the park and this motherfucker popping up at you at the park you're like goddamn nigga like didn't I see you over here yesterday and shit? Like, why you keep popping up and shit like that? And like, oh, I wish you would talk to me, motherfucker. I wish you would stop popping up on me and shit, nigga. You making me fucking scared and shit. I'm about to bring my fucking pistol with me and some shit. Like, why the fuck you keep popping up? I, like, the seven is the, the seven of fucking swords is like a stalker. It's like a spy. Like, someone watching you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like... Your natural world needs you. And I feel like that's what you're tending to. You are getting back. Is these. Is these chili peppers on her? No it looked like some type of flower. But yeah I swear these look like some little chili. Don't these look like little chili peppers. Or something like growing in her hair. I, I feel like you spicy. I feel like you are. It's like you seem very green but you're very spicy you are very um you have no problem with growth you know how scorpios are you see her face she not playing with nobody it's like she has to tend to her business and you see the number 44 is about stability it's about her foundation i have to tend to my world i have to tend to my garden it's like i don't know if someone tried to steal something from your garden or something like that like i said someone could have you could have been in the park in your garden or something like that you motherfucker was trying to steal some food from your garden or something your birds told you somebody off with their head it's like no wonder why they kept lurking around you it's like they were trying to steal something from you or something like that it's like now you need to know it's like you have a spiritual alarm system but it's like i feel like someone needs to step up their alarm system like you need more cameras or something like that what is this the judgment card in the reverse so it's like the light is being shined on everyone in the situation i feel like for the divine feminine or for the female scorpios i feel like your lack of judgment is you might not have been tending to your to your natural world and that's why I say in the fairy of the green world, it's like the natural world needs you. You might have stopped tending to your garden and taking care of your plants. Um, and I want to say, please go and thank and thank. Please go and thank that bird or go thank that cat or go, go give it some food. Go give thanks or something. Whatever this was that alerted you, your spirit guide, please acknowledge them. Please acknowledge it. Please give it some thanks. Like go give some bread to some birds. Or go give some tuna fish to a cat. Or like I said go plant something. Go do something and just like. Saying like thank you for protecting me. Because I really do feel like there was. A lack of judgment. There was. Something where. You are gonna have to answer for. It because this is the in between several. So this is the judgment card in the reverse. And the world going into the world in reverse so it's like you might have to repeat something because regardless of what you let this intruder on the premises like you like this person didn't get away from much like yeah you caught him and this person got thrown in prison in the nick of time so it didn't run around rape and pillage no one else and saying in your family, like, I feel like, who the fuck was this person, bruh? Yo, y'all about to make me go get my fuck. Ooh, no, ma'am. Why are y'all saying that to me, Slim? No, ma'am. Who the fuck was this seven of swords, my nigga? 
because it's like it's like lack of judgment but everybody is going to answer like you're answering on an earthly sense for you falling off and not protecting the earth or not taking care of your earthly responsibilities like you used to because like i swear it's like something about you you've grown into this different sense of abundance and this responsibility it was like you were taking care of something and it's like you haven't been in your yard you haven't been outside you haven't been with your and you haven't been doing something that you normally do and it was lack of judgment because i feel like you trusted this this spy this intruder this thief this this person and it's like the one thing that you wasn't paying attention to, like, I don't know if, like, maybe your crop started dying around you, like, that was a sign. If, like, your animals started staying around your house a lot more often than they, and it might not even be your animal, it might just be, like, an animal that'd be hanging around outside your house. If that joint was, like, always around more often, once somebody started coming around, that was a sign. God, give me guidance. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords individual. Um, because I'm concerned. Please give us any guidance, any, any guidance, any warnings that we need. Um, because it seems like I'm just give give us guidance about the Seven of Swords individual, please. Thank you so much, Father. What's going on in the shadows with this person? This person is empty. Like this person doesn't have any soul. I feel like this person doesn't have any respect for universal law, karma. Um, I just, I feel like this is a soulless person. I mean, look at this person. I mean, this person has a knife and is like trying to sneak away and like, this is like a robber. This person may be a robber as a profession. Um, like, will steal, kill, manipulate, rob, rape, and pillage. Like that, is what I'm getting. I feel like this is a soulless individual for some reason. And it's like this person thought that they were going to come around you and get away with doing what they normally do because they don't have a fucking soul. But they don't know. Scorpio, if you fuck with us, won't have a soul neither. Nigga, we would get rid of your ass too. We are just as treacherous as y'all. We just operate in a place of love. Like, don't fuck with us like that. Like, we will have someone come get you, Slim. On oh God, like where you thought you was going? You thought you was going somewhere with my shit? Bring your ass the fuck back over here. Like, nah. Oh. Now they playing. I'm sick of you niggas. I'm sick of you niggas. I'm hiring some help. Get rid of you niggas. Fuck what it was. It is what it is. So, so it did what it did. And now I'm so tired. I'm knocking them off because I got ties. Hey, young. <laughs> It's too late for all that lovey-dovey shit, all that other shit, I'm your brother shit, it's too late for all that, <laughs> it's too late for all that lovey-dovey shit, I'm your brother shit, all that other shit, Hey, it's too late for all that, Hey, I'm sick of these niggas, I'm sick of these niggas, Hot some help, get rid of these niggas, I'm not with the rah-rah, I'm not your da-da, <laughs> hey young. And he shook. Something, something, something. Said, now they quiet when we cook. Hey! <laughs> this motherfucker haunted by whatever the fuck they did. As you see, this person is having their head down in shame. And they're trying to escape right now. Because I feel like this person knows that they got caught up doing some shit. And I, I yo... I am scared for this person. They're trying to guard their brain. I don't know. Hey, young, uh, what the fuck are you doing to this person, Scorpio? This person feel like they got to protect their brain from you, young. It's like something is... This person is soulless. It's like... They're haunted by, like... I don't think that they understand why they do the things that they do or... They're just soulless. It, it, it says it, it's like they're haunted by whatever the fuck they did, and it's like they're trying to escape and protect and, and guard their brain because it's something about the Scorpio. The Scorpio, see the Scorpio. We don't fight like other people fight, and I feel like this person knows that. This person knows that you're gonna get them from an earthly sense. 
it's like you're going to get them in a tangible way where they can't eat no more. They can't sleep no more. They can't think no more. It's like whatever the fuck they did is not being forgiving. You will not pass go. You will not collect $200. I feel like this person is scared and trying to get away with their life. Um... This person kept going away and coming back, going away and coming back. I want to say like this person was trying to gaslight you for a robbery or something. I don't know why I keep saying that, young. Why the fuck do I keep saying that, young? Why in the fuck do I keep saying that, young? Why in the fuck do I keep saying that? I don't like that I keep saying that. It's like she knows. It's like this. You're like it's like this bitch trying to crawl up in my brain. I don't know if this person is experiencing dreams. It's like y'all y'all did something to touch this person's brain. I don't know if you did something. If you said something that they know. If I do this to this person, and shit is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. It's like, this bitch is psychic. This bitch, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I don't know, y'all. It's something about the fairy of the green world. I want to say, like, was it the cat that kept coming around and... Like, the cat was scaring her, but I want to say, like, the cat and the bird, it was like, the flowers was dying, the cat kept coming around, the birds is hawking, it's like shit was trying to tell her, don't trust this person, it was something like that, like, I swear, I swear, and it's like, I don't know, like, every time y'all go outside, like, the cat pop up, scare the shit out of you, or something, young, but it's like, this person knows that you know you know. Whoo! Let me go up under here. The Knight of Cups. Look at the Knight of Cups. Do you see how this Knight of Cups is looking back at this woman as if he's irritated and she's pregnant and she's carrying water? Like, why the fuck is she carrying the water? It's like, I don't, I'm getting this. Mmm, this real asshole ass fucking energy. And it's supposed to be the Knight of Cups? Seriously? Seriously. So this could be someone, as you can look, this man think he's a macho man. He's tough. I don't know if, like, you be, you see how, like, all those doves and stuff for all those white birds are around the pregnant woman i feel like you were trying to bring a lot of new lives like a lot of new gifts of happiness and abundance and peace to this person like but this person just wasn't peaceful like this person seems to be like a miserable individual like i don't know like this person was i don't know forced to work because of a pregnancy i don't know if someone ended up getting pregnant and it's like oh shit now i gotta go fucking work like you know, and it's like, this bitch irritate the fuck out of me. Like, you know, like, he might make you carry a lot of the weight and do all of the work. And it's like, still, you were trying to come to this person with peace, bringing love, light, and joy into their life. But yet, this person, is this, like, it's like, I swear, it's like, who the fuck does she think she is trying to bring something to the table? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she pregnant. She need to sit her ass down. Like, she making me look bad. I feel like it's like... In some way, I feel like you might have lost your earthly sense around this person. I'm sorry. I got to take this sweater off. Um, I feel like... I feel like you weren't grounded in a sense where you thought this person was a knight of cups. This person is very handsome, but I felt like you were giving to this person before you allowed them to bring anything to the table to you. You see, he's standing at the table with his little wand or whatever looking at the table. So he might not have bought anything to the table, but did 
and but you might have bought substance and nurture nourishment and you know what I'm saying you might have nurtured him and like he might resent you for that shit like you making me look bad like maybe every time y'all went out like this person could only lay their dick on the table and you had to lay your wallet or something like that it's like or you it's just it's like I don't like the way that he's looking back at her do you see the way he's looking back at her it's like he's annoyed by her presence. And it's like, here you come again offering me something. Whoever this is, don't offer them shit. Like, whoever this is, don't offer them shit. Don't offer them shit. And I swear, if, if, if I pray to God that y'all don't end up pregnant by this person. Because it's like this person does not like you like I don't feel like this person likes you and I feel like it's because this person is jealous look at this energy this card this person is jealous because you bring too much to the table and this person can't bring nothing but a wand this person don't have nothing to bring at the table. He's looking at the table and looking back at you like, I don't even know if I want to be here with her, but she's pregnant, so I'm stuck. Like, I don't know. Like, oh my God. What is this? Is it the Eight of Cups in the reverse? So, like, this is someone that uh, may want to go back home. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Eight of Cups is, like, someone that left the situation but may want to go back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this person could have had lack of judgment, could have left you by yourself. Like you out there on your own, taking care of your own shit on your own. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I feel like you're not worried. You're not emotionally thinking about this person. You're not bothered by this person. But I feel like you are the Queen of Cups. Like the Queen of Cups is giving to this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is like immature. You know what I'm saying? Like the Knight of Cups still can be a type of person that could be very much so in love with their self and like they invest their cup in their self. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting a positive Knight of Cups from here, but I'm getting a very positive Queen of Cups here. I want to say this, this this Knight of Cups felt like it was too much responsibility or he was embarrassed by his lack thereof and her positively giving to him in such an abundant way. It made him feel less thereof. Like only thing he was was dick. He don't have shit to bring to the table. I don't like I, he left. He left her alone. Too much responsibility. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like emotionally she could have been more mature or wanting something more emotionally that he wasn't prepared to give in the night stage of his life he was still prepared to give to himself he might not be prepared to do anything but take from her and trying to sneak away you understand what I'm saying I feel like this one she cut him out though I feel like he's haunted by this shit now because he know he came to her empty handed. He didn't offer nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like even up here when it's like I feel like she was trying to talk to this person and he wasn't even very communicative. He was like he showed up empty handed. He wasn't letting her in like he was he was guarding he was an escape artist. He thought like maybe he was just going to come in, get what he want, dip out and protect his brain from her because it's like he didn't want to let her crawl up in his brain for some reason and to transform him. You see with that butterfly like Scorpio is about transformation. You know what I'm saying? It's about transformation. And I feel like now he's haunted by this because he felt like, damn, maybe like bad luck is falling on me like I wish I wouldn't have done that like I see my mistake you know what I'm saying like I wish I could go back and fix it like but this person isn't going to forgive me this person isn't going to hear me out like you know what I'm saying like I'm it, like like life isn't fair like everything that I had is falling to the wayside like he, this person may may not be able to escape out of the situation anymore like um This person may have to return back to where they were from permanently. You know what I'm saying? And 
there's not going to be a wish fulfillment here because I feel like this woman is, she's comfortable by herself. She knows how to get her own. She knows how to go and get her own bacon and cook it too. You understand? It's like she don't really need a man. Like for real, for real. But she wants a man. <laughs> she wants a man because she's a woman. She's a queen. Like a, a queen deserves a king. But this man wasn't a king. He wasn't a king at all. And he was jealous of the fact that he was actually around a queen. That makes, I don't know, that fucking is stupid. The four swords. So it's like. This is the four swords going into the five of swords. So. You it's like you walking into. A, it's like you walked into a setup. Only thing I want to say, if someone is trying to get you to, if it was someone, I'm going to be 100. If it was someone that you really think didn't like you, they were mean to you. You were giving to them more than they were giving to you. They didn't bring anything to the table, but did. You felt like it's a possibility that they could have been jealous of you. Um really didn't treat you nicely and you cut them out and now they're trying to talk to you now they keep popping up and, and, and you're like I wish you wouldn't keep appearing and vanishing you making me quite giddy like this person is making you nervous you have a right to be I feel like if you were in your house minding your business because this is the four swords the four swords is when you just came out of the three of swords the three of swords is a third party situation um, you broke up with this person. You needed some time out to take some time to think to yourself, to find some inner peace, to find some inner resolution. A difficult situation led to a divine solution. You found yourself. If this person tries to call you out to come and meet them, to spend some time with them, don't go. I feel like it's a setup. It's a robbery. You're going to get jumped. You're going to get beat up. I feel like you're going to get hurt. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm so serious about that shit. I sense like some level of danger, y'all. And y'all, this is about to be a long video. Why am I sensing danger? Please. Because the Five of Swords is like, look, look at this person. You see, it's like someone getting jumped, being attacked. From like you think you're going to meet them. But it's like other people come out from the sides. And like they all gang up on you. And it's like beat you up and take your shit. Or just beat you up. Because it's like. I don't know. I don't trust this shit. Man. It's like. This person is set out to hurt you. Like this person doesn't like you. It's like. They just said you give too you I just heard you give too much and you talk too much or something. Give me clarity on this. The secondary card came out. Like I don't know if you were like the person that and then we got envious and that's the water sign card I remember I said like this person didn't want you to get up in their brain it I feel like number one um, it could be a thing where you were second and you didn't see that. But again, you're a fucking Scorpio. You're intuitive. You know that. Um, this secondary card, I feel like this has something to do with you. I feel like your intuition felt like this person is sneaky. This person isn't trustworthy. 
you could have felt like you lacked your judgment. You 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 fallen off from doing what you naturally do, fucking with this person. Like this person could have brought your vibration down. Ever since you stopped talking to him, like things for you could have been going up. As soon as things go up, this person starts popping back around. Now you're making them feel secondary because you're focused on yourself. This person is envious of the water sign. They're envious of the Scorpio. Their life could be robotic. There's a lot of doubt in this person. Like this person chases their fears, not their faith. That's what I doubt was in the reverse. It's like they don't know how to believe in themselves. Um, and it's something about the Scorpio makes people transform. So it's like you could have brought a certain pleasure to this person where you help them believe in yourself. But at the same time, Scorpio expect like you're not coming empty handed. So it's like you could have inspired them enough where they started to believe in yourself. And it came up out of that self-doubt. But Scorpio like, okay, now that you out of that self-doubt, nigga, I need you to transform. Let, like, what you bring to the table? And then this motherfucker was like, okay, motherfucker, I wanted you to help me get out of my self-doubt and me feeling bad about myself. I ain't said I wanted to work, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And you was like, okay, bitch, go back home. And that's why I'm saying it's like... This... You got the misguided card. I feel like you were misguided and you seen a light in someone that you should not have seen. I don't, I, it's like, I feel like you were misguided in seeing whatever you saw in this person. Like, you, should have, you shouldn't have took action with this person. I feel like this person isn't a good person. I feel like this person is a is a bad person. I don't feel like this person is good. I feel like this person is a... I feel like this is a bad person. I feel like this person is like a thief, a bad person. That's all I can say. Like I feel like this person is a bad person. I feel like they're envious. They're jealous of you. Like they're literally jealous because you're doing okay. And... You have foundation. The earth brings a lot of things to you. It could have been coming and steal from you. Like with no intentions of loving you. At all. Just snooping around and see if things work out. So they can steal it from you. Like that's. Jesus Christ. The page of wands in the reverse. So again you could have. The page of wands in the reverse is. Um. You're not incited about this situation anymore. You're not enthusiastic about it. Like quickly you grew tired of it. Um, maybe this person uh, stamina isn't that great. Um, the sex isn't that great. Um, it could have been very fast, very quick. No pleasure. Like there was no passion. Because um, to me... Uh, wands represents energy. You know what I'm saying? So it could have been lackluster, no energy, no passion behind whatever this idea was. You know, thought, no. I mean, no passion behind whatever this was. So it could have been like whatever it was that you were excited about this person. It could have quickly faded. I feel like you've seen this person for who they are. You... Did a self check. I mean, because it's saying, it's saying right now, you guys, Scorpio, it's saying right now you're in a place of seclusion. You're not around this person. You are, you are in a four of swords. This person is going to try to lure you out of you not talking to them. You being this person is going to try to trick you to open up to them. You might have walled them out. And you might be talking to everyone but them. Don't trust this person. Do not leave your home. You understand? Like if you went back home or if you sent this person back home, do not go to that person's house. 
do not let this person come to your house if this person pops up near you i don't know keep a knife on you keep some protection on you that's all i'm saying please keep some protection on you y'all i just don't trust this person this page of wands this person is non-committal this person had no intentions of like the page of wands i, I look at it's like a child lying about where they're going, what they're doing, or something that they said. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Page of Wands, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting, like, the magician in the reverse. But I'm getting, like, a kid magician. I'm getting, like, a, a child playing with a toy magician set. And they really think that they can say, abracadabra, poof. <laughs> And, like, some shit is just going to happen and, like, you was just going to believe that shit. Like, nah, nigga. Like, I was excited when I seen you come around the corner with your little magician shit. I was excited because, you know, you look cute and shit. But, like, you really thought you was about to trick me with that shit. Get the fuck out of here, boy. You get the shit out of here. Like, it's just, like, whatever it was, it didn't come full circle. It's like you quickly off with his head. You seen it for what it was. You eliminated it. You stopped. The Violet Duchess. This is the same card that Libra just got stifled, bored, and st and stiff and stuck and bored. It's like, again, I have to point out this dress. I feel like this person could have bought a very low vibrational side out of you. Do you see how dark that dress is? Because think about how dark I was talking, like how... The queen was just ready to kill this person. Like, no, I don't want this person to... I don't want a person like that to be able to walk on the face of this earth. Like, people like that need to die. Like, that was how the queen was talking. It's like, you think I'm going to let you roam around so you can hurt someone else? So you can try to do something? To, because it's like the queen knows everyone is not as smart as me. Everyone, look, everyone is not as cold as me. Because I seem nice, but I will fucking get your ass out of here. I put that sweet shit on for a reason. Like she, remember I told y'all the queen intuitively, like her spiritual alarm system went off. She, remember I told y'all before that she allowed this person to see her go to bed or something without turning her alarm system on. And this person thought, oh, called their people. Yeah, she ain't got her alarm system on. I'm a, uh. Tell her to do 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 do, and y'all gonna jump out there and we gonna um, beat her up and we gonna steal our money and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but she knows. She knows. She was bored because it's like someone that really loved me. They would open up to me. They would talk to me. And like I know we're different, but God wouldn't have put us together, or we wouldn't have been put together. If it wasn't destiny or if it wasn't a lesson. You see what I'm saying? So either you a lesson or me and you were truly meant to be with each other. But you not even. It's like someone could have been picking her apart. And trying to make her feel like she wasn't worthy or so different. You know what I'm saying? Like you're so different. Like I don't talk to people like you. You know what I'm saying? But you're around me though. So why are you around me then? So why are you around me then? You see what I'm saying? It just, you know, and now you want to pop up for me. This woman is like, because I'm getting her frustration now from this card. It's like she's looking at him like, what the fuck do I have you around for? Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, she's like, what the fuck do I have him around for? I don't know if you started wearing a lot of dark clothes, started like pinning your hair up and stuff like you ain't even want to wear your hair down no more around this motherfucker you ain't even want to dress sexy no more like you you wore clothes around this motherfucker to let him know and give him a constant reminder like i will fucking get rid of your ass like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know I don't know, y'all. Let me go up here, y'all. This is about to be so long. This is the Nine of Cups. So it's like, yes, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be fulfilled without you. So it's like, she caught the nigga up. Like, 
off with his head a difficult situation came to a divine solution so like scorpio you could have been because remember i was saying that he was saying you talk too much so i don't know like you might have been feeling yourself you know what i'm saying might have been talking a little shit you know what i'm saying just been filling your cup up up celebrating you might have been moving on and celebrating too much and the motherfucker is mad it's like how the fuck this person move on it's, it's like, how is this person so successful? Because, like, the Nine of Cups is like, wish granted. It's like, regardless of what, like, I'm blessed. I'm successful. I have more cup to pass around. So, it's like, you can't drink from this person's cup no more. Like, whoever this person. It's like, this woman hit the jackpot. I'm trying to tell you, it's like some type of success or money around this woman and this person wants it like I this shit is scaring me y'all I swear to God y'all I swear to God this is scaring me what is this the nine of hearts it says what fight we have now for the crown so again it's like this person the nine of cups twice so it's like this person sees you coming to this the success this financial security you see the jackpot down there. it's like you getting everything you wanted I, I feel like after you cut this person out that's why i feel like this person keep walking up on you they keep trying to like they're watching you like i told you the seven swords is a spy like you're not talking to them no more like you're not engaging with them anymore like The page, it's like, it's like the page of bonds in reverse, like this person could have thought that they was about to get their success, their abundance and their new beginning here with you because it's like, oh, this person just started over their new life. Everything is going upwards from them. It's just like everything is great. It's just like they might have wanted to attach their self to you and your abundance your self their success like they might have wanted to come around you and drink all of your cups steal all of your crops to take it back somewhere like it's just but because it's like you sent them off off with their head like i feel this person feels secondary because, look, this person felt, maybe this person felt like you made them feel special. You made them feel like the unicorn. I, I, I feel like this person did not think that you were going to, I don't know if they felt like you were going to have like a judgment that you were going to put up with their meanness or something. I, they, they really did feel like you were like the queen of hearts. Like you didn't have like. I don't know who the fuck they thought you were fucking with. But do you see? It's like there's a king right here. And this person is behind the king. God, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. It's like I, I, I'm i really feeling like this person feel like they might got to kill the king or hurt the king or something. Like, okay, like. It's like they want to sabotage like your fulfillment they want to sabotage whoever it is that's next to you they want to hurt them they want to get rid of them like they want to like this person is like your opposite like remember like how I was saying like Remember, like, how I was the kiss. Now I'm hearing, I'm sick of these niggas. I'm sick of these niggas. Have some help. Get rid of these niggas. Because this, this, this is this nigga over here. Jealous. Like, you know what I'm saying? What a fight we may have for the crown now. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is this we? Who are these people that it is thinking, like, we? It's like this person has some agenda. Like, who the fuck is we? Who is we? Because, like, who are these people? Who are these people? So it's like, I don't know if like this person met you and they felt like you were successful, like everything that your heart is desired, it just reaches you. And it's like, wow, like, I wish I could be around her. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person was being sneaky. This person was being manipulative. It's like the Scorpio caught up on that. It's like, let me protect my money. Let me... 
see for this person for who they are. I'm going to take my security system off and I'm going to see if they're going to sneak around and if they're going to try to steal from me, right? And it's like as soon as you turn your head to go in your garden because this person thought you had lack of judgment. It's like this person through their emptiness, through their lack, it's like, you know what I'm saying? They try to do something to you, but they got caught. It could be theft. It could have been cheating. It, it could have been anything. It could have been anything. It could have been anything. It, it could have even been like you even just wanting them to change. And he's like, I don't want to change. I don't want to work. And, and you cut him out. And as you cut them off, more success and abundance came to you. Now this person sees other people coming into your life. Competition, because why? You're not talking to them. So you must be talking to someone else. They may be haunted by this. This was their lack of judgment. This is their payment. This is their verdict. This is their karma. Because they could have been trying to sneak away from you to be with someone else too. Hmm. The clockwork pumpkin, a wonderful idea, an aha moment. And again, this is your season, my dear. This is your season. Green light. So you just got somebody just got green lit. Someone just got green lit. I want to say it's perfect timing because someone is watching you. Because at the end of the day, you think you watching the Scorpio, but the Scorpio is watching you. Because little do you know, this is their element. Spying, espionage, scandal, secrets. You can't hide no secret from me. I am one of this world. Everything that grows on this planet, I know it. I've earned it. I understand it. I've seen you coming a mile away. I just wanted to see if you were going to do what I expected you to do. And now that you did that, I got something for you. Because, bitch, I'm bored. And I got time today. Because you thought that you were going to come around. My success, my money. You think you're going to hurt me. You think you're going to hurt other people around me. Ah, ah, ah. I got something cooking for you. Ooh. Ooh. She just said something. They just said something about. She's, oh. They just said something about. A pot and a stew. Now they're singing the Drake song. Now they shook. People. Said people. Something. He was like they shook. People always get quiet when I cook. People always get quiet. I feel like you're quiet. Because you're cooking. I feel like they're watching you, but you're watching them. You feel them watching you. What the fuck? The hangman. Remember I told you you were going to give someone enough rope to let them hang themselves with. And then you're going to watch them burn. The burning man. The burning man. It's like God said something to me one day, and I listened. I said, oh. God said, I don't know what you're doing, Scorpio. You need to pay attention to the type of people that you're getting involved with. You're not being focused on what you should be. I'm a little upset with you. 
You're not using your better judgment right now, Scorpio. What are you doing now? Everything that we done started, we got to start all over again. Now, if you can show me that you can cut this person out and stop being so giving. Because I, I want to say that you were giving to someone that, oh my God, they were, oh my God. Like, I really think that y'all needed to see this card and see the energy on this card just to see how nasty that this person was to you. This person was a nasty individual. Nasty. And I'm glad that you sent their ass right back home. And I'm glad that you're not talking to them. And this person could feel defeated. You know what I'm saying? They could be. And they, they could be feeling defeated because of all that other competition out there beating their ass. Like they're going to lose. I'm praying that that's what it is. I'm praying that that's what it is. But right now, this is the burning man. This is the hangman going into the death card. This is the burning man. So... I feel like it was a matter of time. They saying it again. People something something always quiet. Not when I cook. He saying something something. I don't care how I look. Y'all go listen to that. Now, they keep saying sick of these niggas. I'm sick of these niggas. Have some help. Get rid of these niggas. Nava the rah rah. I'm serious. Yo, what was that movie The Hanging Man about, Young? I can't remember. I cannot remember, y'all. If y'all remember anything about The Hanging or The Burning Man or something, wasn't it The Wicker Man? Wasn't there a movie called The Wicker Man? Where it's like this man like burnt up in this wicker thing or something like that? I have no idea what this movie is about, but this movie is like popping in my head because I know I've seen it, but I don't remember what it's about. Only thing that I can say is, you would not get no advance in this. Whoever the fuck this is trying to do something to the Scorpio, Scorpio removed their self. God told Scorpio to remove their self from you because I feel like there's a lot of death and destruction and pain and misery surrounding this person. This person is not a good person. This is, is this is person is like a curse on your life or a curse on everyone's life. And I feel like that's why that alarm system went out to alert you about this person because this person can't do nothing but bring you anything but bad. Like this person operates from a very low vibrational level, a very low vibrational level. Um, and again, like you might have got excited about this person, but you quickly got bored with this person. But this person's energy rubbed off on you, Scorpio. That's why you sound so murderous almost in the beginning because it's like, no, this person, because this person is, it's like this, y'all, oh, oof, oof, oof. God allowed you to see this person for who they is because the hangman leads right into the depths so that you can be exactly who you were and kill them off and get them up out of your energy because the longer you stood around this person, the longer this person was working on trying to green light you. And I feel like you might have, I feel like you got this person out of your energy before they did anything really wrong. I, it, like you, it, them being around you is going to force them to change. They don't want to change. They want to be like this. They want to be like this. This is who they are. A low life, a thief. This is who they are. They're not a good person. So like you trying to bring them into your life, let them into your family, bring them peace and serenity, teaching them about spirituality. They don't want to hear that shit. They don't want to hear that shit. You got bored. But you matched their energy. And now motherfuckers quiet while you cook. Scorpios are so vengeful, yeah. Because if you think a Scorpio going to let you get away with you thinking that you was about to fucking play with them. Bitch, you just the thought that you... Just the fact that you thought you was going to play with a fucking Scorpio. Bitch... 
I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to get somebody to take care of you. Oh, you will not be forgiven. Because I was nice to you. I was loving to you. And it's like, you were you were really trying to hurt me though. You were you were you were trying you were trying to like stick around and like gaslight me or some shit or you would what you was trying to do? You was trying to put me in a lose lose situation like what you really thought you was about to manipulate me and play with me like that? You thought I didn't know how to remove and protect myself from idiots like you? Mm. You got the world in the reverse. So this is something that it's like it haunts it. Something stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like the world is always turning, but it's like I'm deciding not to play with you because it's like you try to teach you this This is the alchemist. This is the magician. This is the fool. Right? This is the world in reverse. You see, this is a circle of protection. So the alchemist allowed the fool into their inner circle of protection. The fool realized that the alchemist, even at such a young age, knows how to manipulate elements, knows how to control and understand a lot of things in regards to universal law and they wanted that magic this person could have portrayed like they were the alchemist's friend like they were the magician's friend and I wanna let me in your inner circle and, and, and I feel like they were trying to trick them out of their magic or steal or take whatever from them until it's like this person just wanted you around to learn whatever from you or to gain whatever from you until they didn't gain anything anymore and then do away with you. Like, you know, that's the fool's ambition. Like, they really thought that they were going to get away with it, but at the same time, learn nothing. They learned nothing. They learned nothing. I feel like the lesson of the alchemist here is guard your magic. Guard your thoughts. Protect your energy. Don't just let anyone in your inner circle. You know what I'm saying? Everyone does not deserve to be in your court. Some people will really come into your life just to try to gaslight you to hurt you. And to take everything that you have. And they don't want you. They just don't want no one around you. It's like this person looked at you as if you were the jackpot to them. And they don't want to be with you. They just don't want no one to get near that jackpot. They act like you're annoying to them. You irritate them. You want them to grow. You want them to change. You're a Scorpio. They don't give a fuck about you, Scorpio. You bought me as so I could work. I gotta work. I gotta actually be responsible. I gotta act like a man. Yeah, what you think? Ah, you got me sitting here pregnant. I'm supposed to carry this shit by myself. Like, it's just, ugh. It's like, this lesson has to be learned and be left behind in order for you to go forward, Scor Scorpio. Period. I feel like God is, wants you to see this person burn. So that you can understand what it is that you could have brought into your life for real. Like, you know, like this, this man, I don't know if he's being made to suffer from all of his past transgressions from, I, I really feel like this person is dangerous and has, it's like literally like I have a robber, um, a physical hand for the mob or something. I feel like this person is a dangerous person. And I feel like this person is walking hell on earth right now. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to say. What is this? 
This is the two of wands. Again, so it was like you were trying to teach this motherfucker how to juggle. You were trying to teach this person a skill. You were trying to teach. Listen, this person is over, over there juggling wands. You are levitating balls. You are levitating light in your hand, honey. This person is just juggling wands. You understand what I'm saying? And that's three of wands. So this person could have been just juggling you. Like you could have been just an option to come into their life to show them the tricks of your trade so they could move the fuck on. And it's like this person just wanted to to, to learn from you to steal your magic and, to, and, and to leave you in the dust. You understand what I'm saying? But they could never obtain your magic. I swear to God they couldn't, y'all. Huh? This person is over there juggling the three of wands. And you are juggling the two of pentacles. This person is juggling probably their dick amongst two or three people. You are juggling your skills to bring balance, abundance, stability in your fucking life. Do you understand? That's the only thing that they had to go from one to take their wand over here, over here, over here. So this person could have had options, options, another place to go, a traveling gypsy. And here you are focused on your foundation and your money. The Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups going into the Two of Cups. I honestly feel like Scorpio, a difficult situation leads to a divine solution. I'm going to take it back here as well. Because, you know, the Ace of Cups represents love for yourself, which leads into a soulmate connection. Once you cut this person out, because I'm trying to tell you, this person going to pop up. Just ignore them. I'm trying to tell y'all, keep keep like a knife or something on you though. Keep keep some protection on you. Or like don't travel alone or something. Like, but Scorpio ain't no bitch. I ain't gonna not travel alone. Fuck, fuck that motherfucker. I need to get shot. Listen. Difficult situation leads to a divine solution. I told you, you gonna get back to who you naturally are. Listen, the fairy. Of the green world. You going to get back to doing what you normally do. Listen. Taking care of shit. Feeding yourself emotionally. Like I said. Otherwise you wouldn't have had that nine of cups. That nine of cups is you doing that shit on your own. Being blessed and highly favored and abundant. And every single thing that you put your hands on. You got the Midas touch. You got the heart of pure gold. That's why you're abundant like that. Man, when you focused on yourself, and I'm swear you passed all of this. Because I don't even see you tripping over this shit. Because otherwise, why, why, why would you have just cut this person out like that? And it's like, look, this person feels like he got to fight for the crown now. Because someone else is coming to your life. Young. Someone else is coming to your life and you're not even going to be paying attention to this person because you're going to be basking under the sun. Listen. God moved mountains for this situation for you. You ain't even paying attention to this man. He watching you blessed being abundant and beautiful in your work. I'm telling you the best blessings always come when you not focused on love. You just doing you. I don't know how this idiot came into your life. I don't, I don't know. But they thought that they were going to escape and they thought that they were going to get away with something. You see them for exactly who the fuck they are. And let's just go back to that song. Please don't go. Please don't go. What a fight we may have for the crown now. Like this person... 
made a mistake with you. It was a lack of judgment. He thought that he or she thought that they were going to do to you what they did to everybody else. Because this person has a long history of people that met the demise that they were trying to give to you. And they're burning for it now. I promise you this person, life is fucked up. And I feel like God wanted you to see that. This person was trying to guard and protect their brain from you because I really do feel like that loving it's like the way you were giving to this person like they stuck around because I feel like they were trying to pull a lick on you but I feel like at the same time they were falling in love with you and they hated you for that shit because they thought that this was just going to be a lick they thought that you was about to be a lick young they thought that this was about to be a robbery just like the rest he was going to rob and dip and escape just like the rest. But you're fucking haunting him. Because now this motherfucker feels empty inside. Please don't go. What? What? It's like I was annoyed by you when you were here. But now that you're not here, I feel empty inside. I am haunted by what I thought I was about to do to you. This girl is not paying no attention to me. She's focused. There are so many other people coming to like she I like this person know you're gonna meet a soulmate. Listen, you sent this person back home. You told them it's cool, don't even come here no more. You were focused on your work. Listen, you focused on your work. It's like I don't even know. Look. <laughs> And you were trying to teach this, but like you were literally trying to help this person get balanced, but this person didn't want to grow. This person didn't want to learn anything. This person didn't want to work. This one, this person wanted you to give, give, give to them while they sat back and take advantage of you and you got bored. Because one thing about a Scorpio, if I'm going to do it alone, I'm going to be alone. And you got bored with this shit and then you got dark. And this person quickly realized who the fuck they were playing with. And now, here they are. You done cut them out. Listen, you done cut them out. Oh, Tiger Lily, I wish you would talk. You like, what? What? Oh, now you want to call me Tiger Lily? Oh, now you want to recognize that we were... Uh oh, okay, okay, whatever. Uh, no, nah, I don't have nothing to say. I already told you off with your head, but I'm going to move on in love. I wish you wouldn't keep appearing and vanishing. You make me quite giddy. It's like, damn. You keep wanting to pop up and reappear and pop up in my life. Why? Because you see that I just ended a very successful period in my life. And I'm about to come into a state of abundance. Now you want to keep popping up on me. Stop popping up on me because I'm going to call the people on you. I really do feel like you be minding your business just trying to. I don't know if you fishing. If you've been like. Posting pretty pictures or something. You've been putting your line out there or something. But it's like someone don't like that. Because what a fight we might have for the crown now. Whoever is getting it is crown. I, I'm going to pray for them because I really do feel like this man is going to try to hurt them. I really do. I really do. People ain't shit. Y'all, I gotta go. Because I know this is long as fuck. Y'all hit that like button. Because I know this is a long ass video, y'all. Y'all done got extra cards and everything. Peace. <laughs>